Despite efforts from French police to restrict internet access as a means of fighting terrorism, French officials, they say they will not ban the Tor anonymity network or the public Wi-Fi, even as France has been at a perpetual state of emergency since those Paris attacks, killing over 130 people. You know, Nick, they're saying this is a basic right. We're not taking this away, even though law enforcement wants it. Yeah, you know, law enforcement was banning a lot of things during this uh, state of emergency, and it's cool to say, it's cool to see that, you know, your your internet is not going to be one of them. You know, they're, they're staying true to their values. They're saying, screw you terrorists, you want to come in here and, and make us um, put all these rules in place and, and, and stop enjoying our freedoms, and we're not going to let you. Well, for those who don't know, the Tor browser, you know, it allows you to search without having that IP footprint attached to you. So, you know, it, it is frustrating to law enforcement because they want to be able to, to know who searched for what and the location of pinpointing people that might wish other people harm. But at the same time, you know, they're saying this is a basic freedom. This is what the French Prime Minister Manuel Valls had to say. He says the internet is a freedom. It's an extraordinary means of communication between people. It is a benefit to the economy. So he recognizes that France doesn't work if you're shutting everything down in this authoritarian state. They're keeping everything open. Right. And you, you see people come out and kind of say, you know, um, if I don't go out to a concert, if I don't get on an airplane, then I'm giving in to the terrorists and I'm giving them what they want. What they want is to instill fear on us and we're not going to let them. Um, and you heard that a lot, especially after the Paris attacks. It's interesting to me, though, that they would they would keep um, the tour open because that, that in effect, it encrypts and masks users. So that I could understand the public free Wi-Fi and wanting people to have access to information and being able to communicate with each other. That's great. But taking away that ability to do the masked searching, that might be not as unrealistic Irresponsible. As an yeah, and, and you know, I'm sure there's some people out there saying, well, they probably still are monitoring, they're just not telling us, they're just making it seem like we don't have to worry, but they are still watching us. So, you know, they, they, they're, they're in there making their raids. Uh, police uh, in France have been very diligent um, ever since the Paris attacks, so I'm sure they have, you know, other ways of going about it. At the same time, though, you and I have covered this even on the lip that, you know, people, they have certain people have evaded um, capture and evaded police authority even when they're right in front of them you know one such suspected terrorist was actually able to pass through law enforcement so mm -hmm. we're talking about you know understanding the frustration of these law enforcement officials but at the same time France is saying you know what we're re we're reinforcing our commitment to freedom above everything else